Hi, and welcome to Salesforce Training Continued. Um, on our first video, we went through the dashboard and through communications. Um, when you log in, of course, you will be at your homepage. And today we're gonna go into a little bit more. Under your flight, there is My Flight Members. When you click on My Flight Members, it's going to show everybody that you have on your dashboard. Uh, all the members and what their statuses are. This AF000704 is simply an affiliation thing. So if we click on somebody, let's use William Urkeline because he is the vice flight captain for Stensa Flight. I'm going to click on this, which will give me an edit tab, and I edit it. Uh, his title, in case you want to go ahead and put that into your officers is he's flight, vice flight captain so if I click on that it will show up here you can put in the start date if you want for tracing voting that sort of thing I'm not going to fill that in because I don't know what date he started with the um, position I believe it was January 1st and then if we wanted to put some more information in we could do that right here if it's a voted position and we want to make sure that he knows that he's going to have an end date we would put that in here he is of course current with his dues and that's that's all great so when we save this down here you can put in more with save and new but if you just want to do one that you um, just created go ahead and click your save button it will save you'll see those cute little dots and then just to see how it shows up, if you go to your home page and you click down here on your flight officers, well, it hasn't updated yet, but it will, um, there it goes. You see Bill Arkelon is listed as your vice flight captain. So um, that shows you that you're going to have information on your dashboard related to who your flight officers are. Uh, another thing that happens on my affiliations is, um, let's go ahead and use Scott McKay here just as an example. We'll click on edit. And you can go ahead and put just some basic information like he transferred in from uh, someplace else and he goes back and forth between two different flights. That's a great way of keeping track of some information on his on his records something that maybe you don't normally keep track of so this gives you an opportunity to really just say you know he went to whatever school or any of those kind of things that might be important to your flight you might be looking at these wondering why do we have a hyperlink well let me show you what happens on here ignore the fact that this shows error because this is a picture that's being created if you scroll down just a little bit, you're gonna see the same basic information. Again, you can go ahead and put in your, your title, which these little pencils over here on the right show that you have um, an edit capability. So here you have an opportunity to hit the same screen that you just saw by hitting the edit button. But I just wanted to show you that there's two different ways to get to it. That's often the case in Salesforce where there's more than one way to get to something. So I just wanna make sure that you know that uh, there's you're not doing it wrong if you do it a different way. Um, another thing on the flights that I wanna go back to on my flight is showing you some things about the people. This is very important for your membership people because uh, when they wanna go ahead and um, send out dues, they can go ahead and get into here and they will eventually have the capability of clicking it for only active, which means that they paid their current dues, for lapsed, which means that they need to catch up on their dues, and for friends of flight because those people cannot vote on your elections. So when we have these broken up, that's something that's coming fairly soon. Uh, you'll want to know that you can send it to the right people for each occasion. Um, going back to my flight members, which is what this is basically about, uh, you can go ahead and 
edit these affiliations too. If somebody has become a member of your flight and then has left the flight, you can go ahead and take them out of your flight. And um, this affiliation is shown here, right here where it says organization flight two. We're gonna have to show you where you take that out in just a moment, but I wanted to show you where it shows the affiliation. So going back to your home page and your active members, it shows all the people that are members of your flight. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and search for somebody just so you can see some of the searching capabilities. Um, you can export this. My suggestion is that you do it as a CSV so you can hit export. And looks like this feature is taking a minute. Hit details only because if you use formatted reports, not all computers will work with that. And I would drop it down to the CSV comma, separate it and export this out. It's gonna be in your Excel format which makes it a lot easier for you to search. Let me expand that out for you. And it shows all of your members and whether they're dues paying members, what their actual rank is, and then you can look them up by last name. So of course on Excel, as you all know, you can sort and filter this by alphabet and you just expand the section so you can look and see if these are alphabetized and current to what you have from Apollo. Um, in this case, it looks like everybody's here, but that's up to Stinson Flight to determine if it's the right one. If you have a problem on the, the number of people listed on your flight and that it is incorrect, uh, you can call for help on headquarters and we can walk you through any issues on that or we can um, work it through for you. So looking at, let's see here, let's go to um, somebody that uh, all of you would know. Um, I'm looking for one of our past national commanders to see or past national adjutants to see if I can find somebody that you would be familiar with. Um, let's see here, uh, Chip Utterback, he is one of our board of directors. So I'm gonna click on him so you can see what it is. Again, you're gonna see this picture has not been developed. So it looks like there's an error, but please just scroll down and you'll see a lot of information. So here's where you're gonna see a lot of detail about the member. You're gonna see his name, what he goes by. You remember I just called him Chip. Um, his birth date um, and his um, information about his call sign, his rank, his um, mail, whether or not he receives it. If he gets paper mag or a PDF magazine, you can edit this by clicking this and switching over to PDF. This is the chosen one and I have just changed it so that he's receiving it as PDF. I'm actually going to change it back just because we're about to send the magazine and I don't want him to miss an issue. It will tell what kind of aviation qualifications there are. It has a drop down and we'll be filling those out here at headquarters so it'll tell you whether or not he's a pilot or um, an RPA uh, flight surgeon, that sort of thing. Under the flight information, this is going to be key for your flight. This is where you're going to put in your flight payments. Um, flight membership end date for most flights is the 12th month of the year. The end date is usually 1231 and whatever year it is. So if you were Stinson flight and you were saying that this person had currently paid his dues, you would put in 1231 2019 as his end date for his next dues. Uh, some of you have chosen to go with the same month that headquarters is using, which is the date that they have joined. You can see that right down here. 
but most flights are still doing end of year. So that choice is up to each flight how they choose to operate. You're going to go ahead and put in their, um, their payment amount and then your um, join date is up to you whether or not you want to keep track of that and your last flight membership date. Maybe you want to put in some of the history of their payments. Uh, this information is not filled out right now, but for a lot of you, you're going to have uh, several hundred people in your flight and you need to get that information in. We at headquarters would be happy to send it over to our um, guru. His name is Jude and you'll see his name at the bottom of a lot of these um, pieces of information. I don't see it on this particular one, but you will see his name on there and it will allow you to um, work with him and get all that information filled in for the first time. We will need that information from your flight and we can work with you on that. Uh, it gives you the contact information, their personal email, their home number, and then their address and their uh, mailing address if it's different. And then if you make any changes, just remember to click save and you will have all that information um, available to you from both here and from the headquarters. So if headquarters makes a change, you'll be seeing it. Um, to conclude this area where we're talking about flight and working with the flight and putting in payments, uh, I'm going to end this particular video and then on the next video we'll talk about some of the leads and the deliverables. Thank you.